Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Marcelo Miranda. I'm a business and executive coach from Brazil. Today I'd like to share with you some really great advice so you can achieve your goals. In my opinion, someone can only give advice if he masters his field of expertise. And therefore, I look back at my last years searching for something I really had mastered and found something extremely valuable. And that's what I'm going to share with you. I noticed that the only one thing I've done over and over again these past years was failing to succeed in every job interview I've attended. Great, huh? Our number five excellent tips on how to fail so we will also be able to do it like I did. Number one, you have to know the territory. Search for information on the company. They value candidates that try to figure them out into the business. Number two, know who you are, your objectives, what you're searching for, your personal and professional goals, so interviewers will quickly identify whether you're a match or not. Number three, know your strategies. Came up with at least a good one. Know how to highlight your strengths and minimize your weaknesses. Keep up the balance. Neither act as a flawless executive nor like a loser. Rehearse. Talk to someone in the area so you could anticipate questions and possible pitfalls. Following those tabs, I assure you, you will fail in any and every job interview you will ever attend. Observing those tips I mentioned, I ended up not hired for the past two years. <laughs> it was great, really. What? Okay, you don't like my advice. You don't need any help in failing a job interview or anything else. You might be wondering why would I take the time to number tips so you could fail? People usually talk a lot about success in this industry and almost no one talks about failure. Sometimes I get the feeling no one ever fails, but I did and a lot. So let me show you tip number four, understand failure. You see, for the past two years, I've attended at least 12 job interviews. There were all great positions that paid very well. HR generalist, supervisor, manager, consultant. During that time, I struggled very hard to build my career, but that seemed impossible as I was unable to get a job because I would always fail in every job interview I attended. I kept wondering, why couldn't I get any of the jobs? What was wrong with me? What was it? Was it my way, my approach, my experience, presentation, communication? What was it? As I couldn't get any of the jobs, I concluded there was something wrong with me. So I hired a coach and we worked with any and every two known so I could fix what was wrong and get hired. Surprisingly, all that led me to another failure. No matter my strategies, I failed over and over again. Finally, at some point, just when I hanged up the phone having heard another no, I thought my options were over. I wouldn't be able to fix problems that kept me apart from the future I wanted. That day, I found the courage to stare failure in the eye and ask it, what are you doing here? Why are you standing by my side? Why don't you just go away and leave me alone? <laughs> Oddly enough, shh, it looked back at me and, and whispered, I don't exist. Okay. <laughs> it was a radly weird enough having a heart-to-heart -heart with failure, but when it said it doesn't exist, things really got scary, you know? I was talking to a ghost failure who insisted it doesn't exist, and it was that that was keeping me away from my achievements. Although failure was just a ghost, I felt it pretty real. Then I thought, okay, let's say you don't exist. Then, what is this failure? I feel so present in my life. For as long as I remember, I kept looking for a problem within me. And when fixed would be over, and then I'd be free to achieve anything I want. I searched for problems and found all kinds of them. Some of them could be worked, some of them could be avoided, and a small part of them were totally irreversible. The point is, there's no problem at all. I felt I hit an impenetrable wall, which were all the weaknesses I couldn't overcome. 
and thought that they were keeping me from my goals. What I interpreted as failure was in fact a misunderstanding and misinterpretation of my real goals. Those that really feed my dreams and not the ones that the world told me to have, like my father's or mother's expectations, my family's career path. Every time I failed a job interview, I'd suffer so much, so much, without trying to think about it, to figure it out. I suffered blindly. I couldn't learn nothing of it. I needed a job so desperately that I would apply to any job I could be hired to do. What I didn't realize, though, was that none of those jobs would take me nowhere near the fulfillment of my greater aspirations as a professional and as a human being. Human resources has always been my field of expertise, and I'm very good at it. The problem is, it no longer made my eyes shine bright. I couldn't accept that, so I applied to every and all HR positions I found, and I failed over and over and over again. Until I started to think about, what was I really looking for? It's hard to see surrounded by this mist in which we have been raised. So many demands and expectations and advice made us very confused about what we want and what we truly seek. So we wander around looking for societies made up jobs or careers that they could replace our deepest needs. When I finally accepted that, I, when I finally accepted that, I started a business and stopped looking for job interviews. I didn't care, and I failed no longer. This failure chit chat is a metaphor. It took me two years to figure it out. But now, whenever I come to a problem I cannot overcome, I take a moment to think if it is really taking me towards my mission. When it is, I go on. When it don't, I focus on the really important stuff. And you? If you could strip yourself out of every single part of your so-called personality and goals that exist only to fulfill somebody else's expectations, will you still be 100% sure of the path you're following? Nowadays, I'm 100% connected to my mission, and with it goes 100% of all my effort to achieve greatness I've longed. I run a business that excels at helping people achieve their goals. We work on small and medium-sized companies, providing them with all management tools and knowledge they need to skyrocket their numbers. I also personally train and coach their leaders, so we create a healthy and motivation environment based on ethics and values of their founders. I don't know where you are, but here in Brazil, small and medium-sized businesses respond to 98% of counter income and 99% of available jobs. You do the math. It's far better than any job I could get. And here's tip number five. Be honest to yourself. So you need no failure to keep you on the right path. And therefore, you will fail no longer. Following these five tips, I guarantee you, you will not fail a job interview, but you will succeed in whatever course you take that is connected to your deep motivations and true values. When you understand what failure means for you in your life, you'll be free from it forever. In fact, we cannot add days to our lives, but we can add life to our own days. Thank you so very much for staying with us. See you soon.